Today's episode brought to you by the letter LEGS! LEGS! Alright, two levels to show you off today. As per usual, new weapons and all sorts. Yes, I did just select the same weapon. Legs again! Again with the legs! Once again, clearing out a massive nest full of gigantors summons the wrath of the whatever the hell this thing is. The millipede earwig sort of multiple thing. Anyway, let's blow it up a lot. Bang! This is a pretty nice enemy to fight at night. When you like lots of neon green flashes all over your screen. The Goliath Custom S. What does the S stand for? Never actually thought about that before. Maybe it stands for explosion. Probably. Anyway, it's pretty good against this enemy. It's a larger blast radius. Ensures you can kill more than one segment at once. Which is nice. There's an awful lot of them today. I don't know if this is longer than the previous time we fought them. It might be. Certainly not a level you want to stand still in. You'll be pelted with snot, and that is a problem. Blammo! I'm not actually sure which city this is. Whether it's the Needle City or the Tower City. To watch out for either the Needle or the Tower in the background at some point. Fairly certain it's the tower one actually, judging by these walkways. And there's quite a lot of assets reused between the two. Hmm. Oh no, there it was. It was the tower. I was correct. Saw it in the corner of my eye. Or the screen. Again, this thing's not terribly threatening if you don't stand still like a moron. Somebody in the thread said that they did the enemy didn't look like it was very much fun to fight. I'd like to respectfully disagree. Not sure why, but there's something just satisfying about blowing this thing up. Mainly the way it flies around like doing battle with a roller coaster while you're on the ground not while you're on a roller coaster that would probably be more exciting there's a roller coaster that makes it own, its own rails it's a free bird it can do what it likes who are we to tell this roller coaster where to go when to go up, when to go down, when to go round and round. It is not for us to decide. Let the roller coaster do its thing, unless it's, you know, causing some sort of terrible problem and dropping a load of people off it. After all, what is a roller coaster if people do not ride it? And what sort of roller coaster is so dangerous that you'll actually die when you use it? Not a very popular one. And you know what happens to uh, unpopular roller coasters? They don't make any money and they get dismantled. So maybe we should tell this roller coaster exactly what to do, when to go up, when to go down, when to go round and round. Not out of any sort of spite, not because we don't like what the roller coaster is doing, but you know, for the roller coaster's own safety and well being. Essentially, 
You let it do what it's like, it's just gonna get dismantled and that's like death to a roller coaster. Hmm. So that's what the rails are for. Let us stop problems like that from happening. Anyway, next level. Playing as the Pale Wing. Surprise! New laser lance to show off, and I love this level. That's right, different sizes. Last level was about lots of legs, this one's about various sizes. Look how tall that one is. Look at that, that is just silly. It's so tall. That's not even the silliest thing about this level. I don't know if these count as new enemies. It's just, it's just literally got longer legs. Probably wondering why it's spanning out. It's distracted as ever by all the civilians. At some point I waffled a lot about how these enemies are difficult to shoot because they're really tall. And they're above you and you can't aim very well. And then I realised, well I was told that you can just attack their legs instead of their heads. That's much simpler. However, their feet are the best thing to attack if you're going to attack their legs. No chance of actually hitting them. With the really tall ones, they can be directly above you, but their legs can be out of range of your high damage weaponry, like this Laser Lance R Custom. R stands for Rapido, which is Spanish for fast. Essentially, a laser lance that fires faster. And if you don't know why that is a good thing, then you don't know why that is a good thing. I'll tell you, it's a good thing because that's a seriously good thing. The only problem with laser lances so far is that they are slow firing deal a lot of damage very quickly to single targets. Anyway, look at the look at that thing. This is the customized short version. Look at it. Look what it's doing. Blow me up is what it's doing. It's quite the silliest thing we've seen so far in the game. Its tiny legs, stumpy legs, cause all sorts of problems for it. Should wait until you see it actually try and stab me one of the legs. It's quite close to the floor, really, isn't it? Because it has to move its legs so much, it kind of does a weird sort of bouncy walk. Anyway, I like the little ones, so I'm going to do an Arnold Schwarzenegger and I will kill you last! Oh, that's my best Austrian accent that is, that wasn't in Austrian. Quite a lot of explosions going on. There, we killed one. Lovely tubs. Anyway, the uh, tall bastards are our main problem in this level. Simply because they're so hard to actually get at. Longer legs means they move faster. But the red ants are faster than the black ants. The ridiculously tall walkers are faster than the tiny ones. The tiny ones are fairly nippy as well. I don't know what it is about these different sized legs that makes them even more wonky and wacky than usual. And there's six walkers in this level, we've dealt with half of them. Two tall ones, two normal ones and two short ones. I think one is even shorter than the other though. But the idea that there is an alien inside who really tall ones who's gone, I want my mech to be really tall. Right, well we've got these short ones. They're pretty good height and they can... No, I want mine to be twice as high. Twice as high, please. 
I can shoot things better and go faster. And there's another guy who's going, do you know what? I don't want mine to be twice as high. I prefer it if mine was so ridiculously short that the bottom of my cockpit scraped the floor whenever I moved. And when I walk, my cockpit kind of has to flip about madly because the legs have to articulate so much more because they're so much closer to the floor. Anyway, that's what I want mine to do. The shorter you are, the closer you are to the enemy, so the more likely it is that they just shoot you in the face. Oh, I haven't thought about this. Oh dear. Oh, I'm upside down. Ah. Oh, um. Oh, oh god, I'm still upside down. Oh, that's better. Oh, get, get her. Get her. Oh, oh, oh. Oh god, I can't fire straight, what's happening? Oh, I, I'm off, I'm going over here now. Mid-air, sniper rifle kill. Skills. You know, I think it's sadly time to put this poor little thing out of his misery. I'm standing on the floor and it is in range of my laser guns. It doesn't have much of a range on its stabbing attack. Anyway, there he goes. Goodbye little friend. Goodbye.